good, good. Okay, so uh, each uh, team made a list of seven things uh, that uh, disturb you, etc. right? Okay, now uh, let, let's just check uh, just a couple examples. How about the team A? Let's let's hear your list of seven items. The first team. Do you know who was the first team? Well, oh, can you can you hear me? By the way. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the teams oh, were oh, numeric. Okay. They weren't as ABC. They were one, two, three. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. I hear. So, uh, do do you know what team you were in in the, in the breakout rooms? I didn't know. Oh well. Anyway, uh, okay. How about you? I team? think we were number five. Yeah. Okay, Rick. Uh, I think we were number five. And you? How many people were in your room? Five. Five. Okay. So who? What, do you want to share your list, Rick? Of the seven things. I wasn't the. It was me. I, I'm going to share the list. Yes. So uh, us, we were team number five. Good. And came up with the list of seven things that collectively maybe ups that upsets all of us, maybe not each individual person, but uh, there we go. I'm just going to read the list. So we were starting the sentence with, I get upset when. Um, first uh, thing that was brought up. So I get upset when the audience doesn't like, doesn't let me finish the train of thought. The second one was, I get upset when people lie or they're dishonest. Third one was, I get upset when people are rude or unkind to other people for no reason. Fourth one was, I get upset when people shift the blame to other people and don't act on their own behavior. So fifth one was, I get upset when people jump in and don't let the person finish the sentence. Uh, sixth one was, I feel upset when I feel unheard or disregarded. And seventh one was, I get upset when I hear foul language. Good, good. They're all very good. Okay, so now I, I want to share. Uh, I want to share a document with you. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, can everyone see this document? Yes. Oh, okay. Good, good. Uh, is it? Can you read the type, or should I enlarge it? It's perfect, Chuck. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'll. I'll go through the. I'll read it, and then you can read along with me in your mind. Okay. Here we go. I am thankful. I am thankful for the wife who says it's hot dogs tonight, because she's home with me and not out with someone else. Or if it's a wife, then I'm thankful for the husband who is on the sofa being a couch potato because he is home with me and not out at the bars. I'm thankful for the teenager who's complaining about doing dishes because it means he is at home, not on the streets. I'm thankful for the taxes I pay because it means I'm employed. I'm thankful for the mess to clean up after a party because it means I have been surrounded by friends. I'm thankful for the clothes that fit a little bit. I'm trying to move my page here a little bit. Here. I'm thankful for, let me get, I'm just, I'm trying to, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, good. what was that? Okay, so I'm thankful for the clothes that fit a little too snug because it means I have enough to eat. I'm thankful for the shadow that watches me work because it means I am out in the sunshine. I'm thankful for a lawn that needs mowing, windows that need cleaning, and gutters that need fixing because it means I have a home. I'm thankful for all the complaining I hear about the government because it means we have freedom of speech. I'm thankful for the parking spot I find at the far end of the parking lot because it means I am capable of walking and have been blessed with transportation. 
I'm thanking I'm thankful for my huge heating bill because it means I am I am warm. And I'm thankful for the lady who sings off key. Whoops. Wait, let me see if I can. Trying to move. Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, get this out of the way. Here we go. Continuing. I'm thankful, for, I'm thankful for the lady behind me in church who sings off key because it means I can hear. I'm thankful for the power of laundry and ironing because it means I have clothes to wear. I'm thankful for the weariness and aching muscles at the end of the day because it means I have been capable of working hard. I'm thankful for the alarm that goes off in the early morning hours because it means I am alive. Okay, so can you see what we've done? So we've changed the negative situation into a positive one, you see. So now what I want you to do, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to go back uh, to your room and then changed your sentences say uh, i i am upset i'm uh, upset about the uh, i am upset when people tailgate me see then i uh, then uh, you you change that uh to uh i am thankful when people tailgate me because that is an opportunity for me to practice courtesy and patience. So if, if he wants to get ahead, I'll, I will, even though uh, he's still getting me, I'll, I'll get out of the way, I'll move over. And so that gives me a chance to practice generosity, you know, and so I'm thankful for that opportunity. So is that okay? So what I'm gonna do now is uh, send you back to the rooms and and using this as a guide, you see, change your things that uh, that something that upsets you, you're going to change it to, I am thankful. See, I am thankful. Is that okay?